hello everyone my name is jason kenya and welcome to the channel in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to build a sticky header using the elementor page builder and all other free resources in this comprehensive guide i'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step and entire process from building the header from scratch with elementor and then making it seamlessly stick to the top of your page as you just scroll down it's a great way to enhance your user experience and it's also going to give your website a professional edge so you are going to download the elementor page builder for free we are going to build a header that you see on your screen from scratch and then we are going to be using our other free resources to make it stick to our page using the same elementor page builder so before we dive in if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the like button if you find this tutorial helpful your support means everything to me if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to draw them in the comment i always love hearing from you guys and we'll make sure to respond to each one all right so if you're ready to take your website design skills to the next level let's don't waste any time let's jump right into it and then get started all right guys so once you're on your wordpress dashboard you're going to need three plugins so that we can build the header that we saw initially so go over to plugins and then click on add new plugin i've already installed these plugins but i'm going to show you the plugins anyway so the first plugin you type inside here is elementor so type in elementor that's going to bring out the elementor page builder here so you just see it over here just you just click on install now there'll be an install button so you click on install now after it finishes it will change to activate so you can just click on activate when you scroll down you're going to see elements kits elementor add-ons and templates and add-ons and templates library okay so you also have to install this um plugin and then activate it as well okay then um the next plugin which you are going to install is called sticky header effects okay so type in sticky header effects and then uh it should bring you that plugin so this plugin sticky header effects for elementor so it has 200,000 plus active installations so all you have to do is just click on the install now button and then click on activate and then you get this beautiful plugin here okay so once you have all those plugins if you haven't activated them you can just go to the your install plugin section then just select those plugins okay then you can click on bulk actions click on activate click on apply and it's going to activate those plugins for you so before i proceed you have to go over to appearance and then go to menus then you have to create a menu for your header okay so go over to appearance hover on appearance and then click on menus and then once this place loads up just give it your menu a name so we can just type in maybe main uh menu okay then uh just scroll down and then click on here over on display location select uh main okay then click on create menu okay then um go over to view all so that you can view all your pages and then just select you know select your pages that you have okay so that you can select all then click on add to menu and as you can see it's going to add all these pages to your menu you can change the order if you like maybe you want to make services come before contact so all you have to do is just drag it above okay then as you can see you've changed the order so i'll just put contact right back where it was good then after, after you're done all you have to do is click on save menu and it's going to save the menu you've just created all right so now when you install those three plugins you're going to see elements kit on your side over here so just hover on elements click kit and then click on header, header and footer when you install this for the first time they're going to bring you some you know some pop-ups so just click next step next step next step click save changes and be done then click header and footer then over here on templates click on add new okay then title you can just call it maybe header okay then type should be header not footer header condition should be entire site and then click on activate make it on and here you can just click on edit content okay so you can just click on edit content then it's going to take you over to your elementor page builder so we can actually start building our header all right so over here let's start building the header so all you have to do is click on this plus button click on flex box and then maybe select um this horizontal container okay then make the width uh 1214 like this and then i want to give it a color so i'll click on style i'll click on background type and i'll select color then maybe i want to give it like a dark purple color so something maybe like this maybe something like this color okay then uh i'll go back here and i'll drag in three containers inside it so i'll duplicate right click and then duplicate to get three containers and then i'll select this main container again so by clicking on this button i'll go to, i'll go to advanced release all the paddings give it a top pattern of seven and a bottom padding of seven as well good now i'll go back here and then what i'll do is that i'll search for this 
widget icon box okay search for icon box and drag in an icon box inside here okay then i just want to show you how to create your own custom header before we actually make it sticky okay so here on the icon library just type in uh phone okay so type in phone select this icon and click insert once you change the icon just click on this and then you can choose your own icon now the title i'll just paste in any random number so let me type in a random number okay then for the, we don't want any description so i'll just uh i'll create the description from there i think i have to add one more number to make it here all right good now go to style icon position change it to left okay and um the icon spacing should be eight okay so change this to eight good then the color should be white so go to icon i'm going to make the color of this white good then uh the size of it should be 21 okay so we'll go to contents now then here the color just click on it and then make it white for the title then click on typography fonts family the one which i like and i always i almost always normally use is poppins so i'll choose poppins and the size i'll make it 16. okay now that we have this look ready you can just right click duplicate and then you have another one now select this container and make the direction horizontal then right click on this one and then delete it okay then select this container that we just made horizontal and then over on this file content select and an align item select center then you can edit this one so click on the icon here type in envelope okay and we'll use this one then i'll type in any email so let me type in my email okay now we are building our own header from scratch so this is your first step then the next step is you click on this this other container click on flexbox and then click on you know the horizontal one then change the width uh to one to one four okay so the width should be one to one four then we'll select this main container we'll drag another container inside and then we'll just right click and then duplicate till we get about three okay so like this then i'll select this container first and i'll use my mouse pointer to go to the edge of it like this so that i'll get this icon and i'll drag okay then over here in the width i'll just type in um 17.76 okay then i will also do the same select this container and then i will drag it as well so the width changes and then i'm going to change the width um to 55.01 like this all right good now go back here and i'll drag in an image okay so this is where your logo is going to be so i'll click on choose image and i'm going to choose my logo here and click select if you want to learn how to make these designs make these really cool logos you know very very simple logos just go to a new tab and go to this website called canva.com okay i use canva for multiple things whether it's posters whether it's flyers whether it's business cards whether it's logos whether it's youtube thumbnails whether it's facebook you know everything canva can basically do everything it's a whole suite okay so you know they even have templates where you can also pick templates and try and design they have as you can see they have youtube thumbnails logos instagram posts portraits and everything that you will need to start your graphic design journey okay so here you can click on create a design and you can choose from these designs or maybe you can search for a design maybe I, can, I can search for book cover or something okay so if i search for book cover they will bring me the aspect ratio needed okay so yeah, you can also click on custom size and then type in your own size and then click on create a design and i'm going to take you so let me just choose maybe a uh, logo okay so you can click on create a design and i'm going to take you over to their design session okay so once you have this piece maybe you want to design um a simple logo okay so hold on let's just uh give canva a minute to load up so as you can see they are going to give you a lot of templates that you can choose from then you can maybe just come to text grab a heading and then maybe type in any logo you like okay then you can type in this logo j block or something like this okay Maybe you can type in just j okay then you can you can scale it you can make it big as big as you like okay then maybe you can bring you can go to elements and as you can see there's shapes right so you can bring maybe this shape right so click on layer and then click on send to back okay then maybe you can change the color to i don't know any 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 pink color sorry it should be for this rather select layer select send to back okay as you can see then so it has been sent to the back you can make this color the pink color rather so i'll go to color i'll go to the black then i will select the pink color so maybe i can select any color from these colors and i can select this one and i can just select the color again and make it white okay so you can make many styles with canva 
then you can go to text again drag in another text this one you can type in block scale it to make it big okay then you can just drag it over here okay and as you can see you are basically in the steps of creating your own logo okay so you can go to elements then you can drag in a circle okay a circle and put it on top of the o like this okay make it very very small like this and then drag it with this icon so i'll select it hold on let me send this down i'll select it make it very small with these icons drag it i'll bring this back select it bring it down and put it on top here and as you can see you are in the process you have just created your very first logo okay so if you want to extract so if you want to send the logo out so that you can use it on your site or on something else okay all you have to do is just click on share and then click on download okay then you can choose whether i want a png jpg pdf whatever after that you just click on uh the download button and it's going to download to your computer okay don't forget to try out canva it's a very good tool for all these kinds of designs all right so once you have this now go to style with you can just make it 99 okay now we'll go back here and so let's search for um nav menu okay search for elements kit nav menu and drag it inside here good now the menu we created will select so it's the main menu okay horizontal menu position will select center then we'll go to um style okay then um the menu height menu height let's make it 31 okay so that's be like that then scroll down to menu item style and all we'll do here is we'll go over to typography select family and then make this poppins one of my favorite fonts okay then we'll make the size 17 okay uh yeah 17 then we'll make the width uh 600 okay good then maybe you can change the hover color as well so maybe you when, when, when a person puts their cursor on the link you want it to change to a different color maybe i can make it maybe orange something like this and when they have a this will be the color okay so you want to change the active colors as well so when they are on maybe the home page the home page color will be like this and the rest of the pages colors will be like this right maybe you can copy your color for the hover and also paste it at your color for the active okay so that will be like this whenever it's active then just select this container and then um the 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 just file content just make it center okay good now select this container what i'll do is we'll go here we'll search for button okay you can just drag any of the buttons i'll use this regular button okay then inside you can change the text maybe i'll type in learn more okay then you can type in the link that i wanted to go to so maybe i wanted to go to the about page so i'll type in about and as you can see the about page has come so i'll just select it now i'll go back to style then maybe I'll, the alignment i'll select uh center typography family for the font from i want um poppins so i'll type in poppins okay the size can be maybe 15 all right something like this and then uh maybe the color the color can be maybe the color codes maybe this um orange color okay then maybe the hover color can be like sort of like the same color but maybe darker so i'll paste in the hover color and i'll make it maybe darker so that when they have it become darker okay and um sorry that's that's the text color rather the text color when they have it should be the same white but it should be the background color so the background type it should be classic color just paste in the color and then drag it down so that when you have a it become darker so something like this okay and then all you have to do next is just select the main container and then select center and as you can see you've created your menu basically so i'll click on updates and let's actually preview what our menu looks like if i click on preview changes it's going to bring us to this page to see our header so here i'll select the home page okay and as you can see this is what our header is looking like on the home page so if i actually uh select this container okay i'll go to layout and then i will center everything and then just find the content to send align item to center as well i'll update and then uh let me open this page in a new tab okay i open this page in a new tab and as you can see this uh what our header is looking like right now all right so there's one more thing i want us to do before we proceed let's go to advanced and let's release the paddings for this container okay then we'll go to this i mean we'll click on updates again and then once we update i'll go over to this page and now refresh and as you can see we have our header ready so let's actually select this container one more time go to layout and then uh the align items will make it center again okay so we'll click on updates and then when we go back and check now our header actually looks perfect all right good so this is what we want 
now um let's actually try and make it sticky because when we scroll as you can see we can't see the header so once you've downloaded all these plugins all you have to do is just select this main container which has all the elements that you want to be sticky go to advanced okay scroll down to you see six sticky header effects and then just enable this okay just enable this once you've enabled this you are basically you basically done everything if you go back to our main page and then we refresh okay once we scroll as you can see it's sticky is sticking but we know it's not actually looking that good so let's actually edit it so we'll go back here and then uh, the scroll distance can be at 60 then background color actually enable this okay so enable the background color then over on the color section just make it white okay make it white and then click on update and once you do that it should look way way better so i'll click on refresh again and then when i scroll down as you can see now we have a background color and now it's looking sticky it's scrolling down it stick it sticks on the top of the page as we scroll down our page and that's what we want okay so you can actually customize it a little bit more if i go back here you can click on shrink, shrink header so that the height of the header will reduce once you are scrolling okay so maybe i can change the, the shrink header height to maybe zero okay and then i'll just click on update so you can click on shrink logo as well so that you can make the logo size smaller so i can make it maybe 75 and then click on update if you like you can blur the background if you like you can make it sticky on only desktop only tablet on only mobile so if you want to be on only desktop all you have to do is just click on these two x buttons and it will take away the sticky header for tablet and then mobile you can also make it transparent if you like so if i go back here and i refresh our page again once I scroll, as you can see, the menu height has reduced. And as you can see, our logo too has become quite small. Okay, now let's go back. And if I select transparent header and I click on update, I'm just showing you that you can also make it transparent with this plugin. Okay, so you can make it both sticky and both transparent. So if I go back to our page and I refresh, as you can see, it has become a transparent header. All you have to do is change the colors of these. Then when you scroll again, it becomes sticky just like that. All right. So let me go back and then I will actually disable the transparent header. So that's how you can create a sticky header on Elementor. It's very simple. Just get three key plugins, Elementor, Elements, Kits, Light, and then sticky header effects for Elementor. And then all you have to do is just build your header and then come back, select your main container with your header, with your header items, come to advanced, scroll to sticky header effects and just enable it. And that's how you can get your own sticky header on Elementor. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this video has been helpful or if you've learned anything from it, please drop a like. Uh, please, subs please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not be missed or you will not miss out on any of my latest videos, any of my latest updates as well. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, please leave them in the comment below. I would love to hear from you guys and I'll get back to you if you have any issues. Don't forget to go to my website and check out the blog page where I've created many many tutorials on wordpress so that i can help you you know bump up your resume and build very good websites like a food delivery website an online course website school management and extra that i've built so don't forget to check those videos out don't forget to go to my channel subscribe and check out all the other videos for more insightful tutorials and i will make sure to see you guys in the next one all right love you all bye bye